And then, uh, November 28th, two days later, Venezuela, same story though, but different guy by James Stugat. Sugat says in a speech uh, at the Extraordinary Summit of the Bolivarian Alternative for the Americas, Alba in Caracas, yeah, Hugo Chavez proposed the creation of a regional bloc with its own currency. We're going to create a monetary zone of solidarity-based commercial exchange, said Chavez. The hegemony of the dollar must end. <laughs> well, you're doing the right thing. The currency would start out as a virtual compensation system, just checks right now, but later become a hard currency. Okay, now we'll add a few chips, and the president's going to make sure the counterfeiters don't hurt our chips. Chavez explained. It would make Latin American countries less susceptible to the effects of the world financial crisis, he said. Well, it saved Argentina, and it'll save all of Latin America, and I want to join in Canada. How can I talk my government? Chavez suggested that the name of the currency be the Sucre. And by the way, in France, the système échange local, the sel, that's the salt in French. But in, uh, in Latin America, it's the sugar, the sucre, which is, stands for Unified Regional Compensation System. The ALBA is an alternative trade bloc to the U.S. free trade, and its members are, we've already read them, Chavez. Chavez also said ALBA member countries must construct their own solutions to the world financial, food, and ecological crises. And you're doing it, sir. We are not going to wait here with our arms crossed for the World Bank and the IMF to come and solve our problems for us. We have things to say. The South also exists. We will leave the Inter-American Development Bank and we will make our own bank, a bank that we will manage ourselves. Can you imagine that? The solution will come from Washington, from those who generated the crisis. Honduran President Manuel Zelaya said the time has arrived to review the participation of ALBA members in the IMF and other financial institutions. Well, don't forget Argentina paid off all their IMF World Bank debt using social credits, and if you do it too, well, of course it's easy to get out of it. You just pay off your debt to them. Chavez said these institutions must be dissolved because they're the culprits in the crisis and they can only exist as imperialist hand to dominate us. Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega, who participated in the summit, said ALBA has established bases that put us in an advantageous position amidst the world's economic crisis. Imagine, there's a man who took over with a revolution to put out an American dictator and then gave up power to the American dictator in an election. The next one. Wow. Rafael Correa, the president of Ecuador, asked for support uh, from ALBA member countries as he seeks international tribunals to relieve Ecuador of debt incurred by past governments, which operated according to the values of the U.S. dominated international financial institutions. In other words, they were raped for high interest. We ask the ALBA to back us. It's necessary to make the truth known. This debt is illegitimate and we have no reason to pay. A. Stiffen for the interest first, accept responsibility for the principal, even if it was for change, and then discuss whether or not the change should be paid for. I assure you we'll make sensible and responsible decisions. We can achieve much more if we're united. While presenting the final declaration to the summit, Chavez proposed that countries create debt auditing commissions to support debt burdened countries such as Ecuador and begin evaluating ourselves and supporting other nations in this task. And finally, we hear from the Wall Street Money Boys. Venezuela's Chavez calls for one currency for region and promptly runs into doubts. So, by Jeremy Morgan, Latin American Herald Tribune staff, Caracas. To judge by initial reactions, <clears throat> President Hugo Chavez will find little support for his suggestion that member countries of the Bolivarian Alternative Alliance of the Americas, ALBA, his answer to the Bush administration's free trade treaties with countries in the region, and before that, the free trade of uh, Americas. Economists noted that the southern cone bloc, Mercosur, was making slow progress towards economic union, which they deemed had to be crucial first step towards any idea of monetary union. Gee, we can't agree to use each other's chips until we've actually agreed to live in each other's houses. Hmm. They're not even talking about that, and right now would most definitely not be the right time, said an analyst at the Venezuelan Central Bank. Ask him not to be named, as he wasn't authorized to speak to reporters. And anyway, Alba's more political organization rather than an economic one, that source added. Chavez founded it as a countermeasure against Washington. Alba doesn't have much weight, be it political or economic. We'll see. The Union Radio website reported that Ricardo Hausman, director of the International Development Center at Harvard University, was anything but enthusiastic about Chavez's plan. 
Hausman, a frequent commentator on developments and trends in Venezuela, said there were technical reasons, which meant the idea of a common currency for Alba didn't make much economic common sense. And he appeared to think this was all the more so in Venezuela's case. So there are technical reasons he can't elaborate on, I suppose. He's got to elaborate on them. Chavez has proposed that the currency would be named as Sucre after an independence hero and would be backed by Venezuela's hydrocarbon reserves. Poker chips backed up by oil. Hmm, not a bad idea. Uh, the largest in America is but for a country to adopt a currency supported by petroleum, yeah, would be, quote, to say bread today and hunger tomorrow. Hausman was reported to have remarked. That's completely illogical. Furthermore, he argued Venezuela he had had the most unstable currency in Latin America during the last 15 years. For another country to, why, tie yourself to a gallon of oil, then it becomes very stable. For another country to attach itself to a currency backed by Venezuela would be to attach itself to a currency that it's a, at the door of a maxi devaluation, unless it links to time with all the others. So as far as Hausman was concerned, Venezuela wasn't the only problem when it came to common currency. He pointed to Ecuador's decision to rescind on payment of interest on some of its foreign debt, were this to be found to be based on illegal terms. Alba countries have announced they'll support Ecuador in this decision, and Chavez even said that Venezuela will also analyze its debt to see if any of it was illegal. Meanwhile, traders on Wall Street, who specialize in trading Venezuelan, Ecuadorian, and Latin American debt, took the statements with a grain of salt. Our feeling is that Ecuador will pay, and the country has been profiting handsomely from the chaos caused by their statements. And of course, we know Argentina paid when they replaced all the local action with local currency, and that freed up all the federal money to pay off exterior debt, which was how our Argentina went from bank busted in 2001 to external foreign debt paid off in 2006. And nobody ever explained to you how they did that, except me at my videos at the youtube.com slash king of the poppers channel. So, President Chavez. Of all the elected politicians in the world today, I feel that you, more than most, should have a duty to listen to what I, an engineer specialized in banking systems, am telling you you have to do. I'm saying you're on the right track, in the right direction, but making mistakes. And there are weaknesses in your system that can easily be corrected. As an engineer, President Chavez, you could, should recognize that this is a control system of an interest-bearing bank account. The Laplace transform of this control circuit is 1 over S minus I, the minus I being the positive feedback of interest. This is the control system of a Truecki bank account. Its Laplace transform is 1 over S. It's called an integrator. When the input goes in, positive or negative, it's added to the old balance and becomes a new balance and stays that way forever until there's a new input or output, a completely stable mechanism. Nehemiah said, let the exacting of interest stop and get rid of the positive feedback on debt. Jesus said, if you have money, do not lend it out at interest. And he wanted to get rid of the positive feedback on debt. Muhammad said, if you have money, do not lend it out at interest. And he wanted to get rid of the positive feedback that generated debt slavery. And the obvious conclusion is that no positive feedback is an answer. But more importantly, human time must also be one of the collaterals. So, President Chavez, you must allow your currency to be convertible with your regular currency. You must allow people to pay taxes with your regional currency, your alternate currency. And best of all, you should link it to an hour of time so that it's internationally esteemed too. For instance, why should you give oil for free to America when they don't like receiving charity and they would probably be willing to offer you something back in exchange? They have no money, but they have empty schools. So why don't you give them a billion in oil and ask for a billion in credits to send your kids to their schools? 
Why doesn't Iran do the same thing? Do trade with America. What better way to make peace with her and defay and disarm America than send them oil and ask them for a fair exchange and barter back? Well, the World Trade uh, World Economic Forum is over and has failed to solve any problems. The World Social Forum has discussed hundreds of ills and has failed to offer any solutions. And you've been working on a solution and doing a lot of good. But how come Argentina, in private, with the risk of counterfeiters plaguing them, could get up to 7 million people, and you, with a no-counterfeit problem system, only have 2,000? You're doing something wrong. You must do like in Argentina, except with a counterfeit-proof currency, and then watch it go. You're running a dinky car when you could be running a rocket engine. So... Take it from John, the banking systems engineer, my specialization. It's your duty to do better when you've been told how. Thanks. I hope you do.